you see the proverb that you just asked about is an allusion a very funny story in old disaliko anybody who mulawa konigba yawe letu you see there are two key points there anybody who mulawa where is owa and who is a letu you see in 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 lagos in isaleko and Owa is the place where the king is crowned. Are you getting it? So there is nothing more important that you want to retrieve from Enowa or that you feel is your right at Enowa than the crown if you are a prince. So the proverb is saying if you want to become king, do not snatch the Eletu's woman. Now, who is the Eletu? The Eletu is the head of traditional kingmakers in Lagos. So truly, if you want to become king, you want him to crown you. Don't snatch his wife. Because if you do, you can no longer be king. And as we all know, if you as a man, if you are owing your friend money, the fight might not be much. Or if you took his money. But if you take his woman, it won't be funny. So there's a story surrounding this between Eleko Akitoye and Eleko Kosoko. Now the story is this. According to what historians told us, they said at a particular point in time, Prince Kosoko, who happened to be a very, very rich slave trader, and of course, he has money. He's a prince. There's royalty as well. And he has the other one. Very strong spiritually. Prince Kosoko and the young man that will later become a letu. Probably when they were their late teenage, 18, 19, 20. God knows when. It happened that a letu had a young girl. Probably someone he felt he could marry. Kosoko as a prince with all the money. All the promises of don't worry, you become queen when I become king. Took the lady from him. The young man didn't know as at that very point in time that he was going to become the Eletu. He kept quiet because he wasn't as strong, both financially and if he didn't have much as much influence as Kosoko being a prince. The young man, you know, had to accept whatever his fate is and he moved on. Fast forward to some years, he was a letu. Then, the then king of Lagos, Oluwole, I think, passed on. And they were to elect, they were to go through the process of making another Ileko. Kosoko was contesting. The man whose wife he took as a young man is now the Eletu. He repaid him. Do you know what he did? He chose Akitoye, who is much more younger than Kosoko. In fact, historians have it that the difference between Akitoye and Kosoko is like that of a father to the last child. But Kosoko, you know, as he was he was rich, fierce, and everything. He had to respect culture when they said Ifa actually chose Akitoye. So you know why you contest the post of an oba and you lose most of them will just they will, they will find solace in exile they will go and stay somewhere far away from the king kosoko did also but you know yoruba will say ba she yoso no la yoruba the plan wasn't between eletu and akitoye according to historians some said Probably Akitoye knew about the plan. That actually Kosoko was the one chosen by Ifa. Not Akitoye. But because of the pain of the woman that Kosoko snatched from Eletu. Eletu decided to change the words of Ifa. Some people actually knew about that. Kosoko being who he is. 
Probably he gave some people money to investigate. The truth came out. That Kosoko was the one chosen by Ifa. From where Kosoko was, Akitoye heard about the news that, see, this man is coming. He's coming with everything he has. Akitoye left the throne. For him? Immediately! Kosoko was that strong. Now, you might begin to wonder what happened to the Eletu. Two things. Some said that the Eletu just lost his mother. In fact, they were here to bury the woman. But immediately he heard about the return of Kosoko, he fled. He just like it. Eletu himself. Just like Akito e, Eleko. Okay, are, are you surprised? When the Eleko fled, what should the Eletu do? Order the Eletu. Kosoko now ordered his boys to go and throw the Eletu's mother's corpse into the lagoon, Osa. At the point where 30 bamboo trees could not be able to touch the depth of Osa. It was your metal. It was it was a real and my life. Go and throw the woman there. Some said the woman was even dead and buried. Kosoko said they should go and exhume the body and go and throw the woman inside the lagoon where 13 long bamboo trees will not be able to touch the depth of the water. So it became, you know, the Kosoko didn't, Kosoko's reign didn't last long. It was 1845, I think, to. 1851 thereabouts. He was fierce. He was a slave trader. So he was he was also disposed. He was also deposed of the throne. Then Akito now returned. But no one knew what happened to the Eletu. So it became a proverb since then. Be anybody umulowa, if you have anything to retrieve or collect from Owa, do not snatch the Eletu's woman. Anybody umulowa komagbaya weletu. Or anybody in Mulawa could need by your will it to pass it by your will it to cut off her Mulawa to me. My brother go very job. To ask my go very job, I feel it towards your will. So that is the you know the little story behind that. Very interesting, anyways. If you study Obership in Lagos, you come to realize who Kusoko was during his days and who Akitoye was.